In this video, I'm going to show you how to gauge 3CM material down to 2CM using face milling in AlphaCam. I've drawn my part and offset it to create the material blank. I did not have to use tool direction. The first thing I'll do is insert the tool that I'll be using, which is a gauge wheel. Next I'll find the facing icon so I can start putting in the parameters for my cut. I'll start with the first tab and verify that the gauge wheel is the active tool. Next I'm going to set my cut direction to horizontal cuts so my cutter goes back and forth in a horizontal direction. I'm going to pick the bottom left corner for the start position so that my cutter will enter at the front left corner of my part while it's on the table. Next I'll go to the Levels and Cuts tab. I'll start with a safe rapid level. I'm going to enter the value of 5 so that the tool stays 5 inches above the pod as it rapids across in the X and Y direction. Next I'm going to the rapid down tool and I'm going to enter a 2 in so that the tool rapids down from the 5 inches to 2 inches above the pod. For the material thickness, I'm going to enter a value of 1.2, a little bit thicker than my 3CM material. For final depth, I'll enter 0.787, which is my desired thickness of my material. I'll choose to remove this amount of material in two passes per the recommendations from my tooling manufacturer. I'm also going to leave the default equal selected so that total amount removed will be in this case divided by two. The next tab is machining data. For this example, I'm going to enter a 1 into the clearance. The clearance value is the distance that the edge of the tool will go past the edge of the part. The next field is approach distance. I'm going to put a value of 2 in there, which will make the tool drop down 2 plus the 1 inch clearance away from the part. The next field, width of cut, I'm going to enter a value of 2 which is half the width of my cutter. I prefer to use bi-directional, which will make the cutter go back, shift over, and go the other direction, rather than going one direction, lifting up, and continuing in the same direction. Enabling high-speed machining will make the cutter loop around the edge, which speeds up the program time. These are the only settings that I'm gonna use for this type of a cut. And finally, the last tab, Tool Data, pulls in the information from the tool library. Make sure that flood is turned on. Now we can say OK, and we'll select our piece of geometry to be cut, and follow through with the finish to apply the cut path. Now I'm going to go and turn on the circles representing the diameter of the cutter. This will show on the right side the one inch clearance that we set so the tool go back, goes past the edge by the one inch. And on the other side, it'll show the two inch approach angle. Remember the two inches gets added on to the one inch clearance for a total of three. As always, I'll turn on simulation so that we can see all the settings that we put into our program.